I wrote my first book, I published my first book when I was 45 years old. And um, from that time until now, I've tried to see writing as a discipline. Um, my son, who's a real writer, calls it the discipline of the desk. That is, you sit down and you make yourself put words on the page. Because without words on the page, all you have is good intentions. With words on the page, you have a lot you can work with. You can edit, you can throw things away, and so on. But my writing time is early in the morning. My best friend, who is an academic writer, writes starting at about 11 at night and writes until like 3 in the morning. I think it's partly biorhythms. Well, typically I'm at home, and increasingly I use the computer, but for most of my life I've just written on yellow pads. So I get up at 5, I have two cups of coffee, um, get myself settled at a big table, usually the dining room table. And the early morning thing, incidentally, started um, when we had our first kid, which was 33 years ago. And I realized that if I wanted to get anything done, my only shot was early in the morning. So at that time, I was getting up at 4 in the morning and working till about 7.30. Now it's more like 5 in the morning, working till about 10. Um, but I have things to write every, all the time. So if I'm working on a book, um, I get a routine going. But I always have projects that I have to get written, uh, partly for my school, partly academic writing, uh, which I do a lot of. And so every day I have something to write, every day. Well, we're at the University of Illinois at Chicago, which is a big urban public university on the near west side of Chicago. We're about a mile from the lake, about a half a mile from the loop. And uh, we're in the College of Education. And we have these small little institutional offices and mine is cluttered and crowded um, and I don't do I don't do most of my you know early morning writing here but I do you know work on my computer here and I get a lot done here as well I come to the office more to get materials that I need and to meet with students uh, to organize my classes um, those kinds of things I tend to overwrite and it's partly because I don't I'm not, a, I'm not a particularly skilled writer. I, I feel like I'm more, I think of writing sometimes as kind of, um, you know, kind of piece work or donkey work. You know, I take the words up the hill, I dro drop them on the pile, then I make my, you know, um, way back down the hill and then I fight my way back up the hill. But I always overwrite. Fugitive Days, which is a memoir that I wrote about the years of the Vietnam War, the American War, um, in Vietnam, which is 1965 to 75, the shape of that book only made sense after I'd written several hundred pages. And then I understood what I was writing. Until then, I was actually writing stories. I was writing anecdotes. I was writing about my experience in those years. But the book's shape only came to me in the process of it. It's funny to think of myself as a writer. I have published several books, but I much more think of myself as a teacher who happens, or, and, an, and a political activist who happens to scribble. It's lonely work, it's difficult work. Uh, the son, my oldest son, who is a talented writer, um, you know, he talks about the discipline of the desk. He also talks about um, sitting in front of the computer or a blank piece of paper and bleeding on it, you know, that it, there's, it's fun in a way, but it's also lonely and strange and um, isolating in some ways. A lot of the most productive writing I do is at a place we have in California, which is, uh, uh, we have a cabin, really, with um, an 88 acres up in the uh, Oregon-California border. And there's no phone, no fax, no electricity no indoor plumbing, and I'm there with my family for six weeks every summer. And that is an extraordinary place to write because I can get up at four or five in the morning, put on a lantern, write as the sun comes up. Nobody else stirs until about 10 o'clock. And then we can have breakfast, go to the river, jump in the waterfall, come back, read, have a lazy night, go to bed when the sun goes down and back up again at four. So really, most of my really finishing up work and, and really kind of concentrated work takes place there because I don't have any phone calls, I don't have any meetings, I don't have any classes to teach. So that's really the best writing place for me.
In-Depth airs live at noon Eastern on the first Sunday of each month on Book TV on C-SPAN 2. Log on to booktv.org for information about upcoming guests.